Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of my most popular book, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. And for these videos, I answer the questions you all send me via email. So if you have any questions you would like for me to answer, be sure to check out the description box below for additional information. This video is because of a question I received from Nioto. Nioto is a China-based student in desperate need of natural hair products. But see, the problem is, is that the products in her area are way too expensive. And I know how you feel, and guess what? I got some things that's gonna help you to combat that situation, so that way you can still maintain healthy, natural hair. The very first thing that I'm going to suggest is that it's time for you to start making your own products. If you refer to my book, The Natural Hair Bible, or even my other book, The Black Hair Manual, I've given so many recipes and so many different techniques and things that you can incorporate into your products to give you exactly what you need according to your hair type. So what I want you to do is just start making your own products. It's definitely more affordable and you know exactly what you need and what you can control in your ingredients of your product. The second thing that I'm going to suggest is that you want to make sure to use vitamin E as a preservative. Vitamin E uh, oil will serve as a natural preservative um, for your products, especially if you're using cold pressed virgin oils. It's going to help prolong the life of your product and also it's good for the hair, good for the skin. It's a very good base to serve for your hair product and it's one of those oils that is extremely super affordable for your own homemade hair care products. The last thing that I'm going to suggest is make sure that you're properly storing your product. Because you're using natural ingredients, your product can grow mold, it can even grow funguses if you're not careful. So depending on the type of products that you're using, whether you're using a product that says that you have to store away from direct sunlight in a dark or cool place, you want to do those things accordingly. So if one of your products requires refrigeration, that means that even if you use a little bit of it into your homemade products, that you store it in the refrigerator. And um, depending on the expiration of any of your products, say for instance, one of your ingredients expires um, in a week. You, that's as long as you can keep the product because you don't want to use something that's going to potentially rot or spoil on your hair. So make sure you're storing appropriately so that way you can be doing what's best for your natural hair while also remaining within a budget. So I know sometimes it can be really hard when um, trying to maintain your hair, especially when you don't have access to products. And that's the beauty about the fact that you can just make your own. So Nioto, I hope this video has helped you. Thank you for your email and also thank all of you for watching. And for more, be sure to check out the description box for any further information on anything that has been discussed in this video. And until then, I will see you all next time.